The grace period for a new speed limit enforcement system ends tomorrow. This map shows all of the cameras set up in school zones right across the city of Buffalo. The speed limit in these school zones during designated hours is 15 miles per hour. The cameras will enforce that speed limit. City leaders tracked driving data over the last month and found a trend that the mayor called disturbing. The cameras are recording over 10,000 vehicles on any given day speeding in school zones throughout the city. You will get a $50 fine if you're caught speeding, but those fines will not be sent out until flashing beacons can be installed in these school zones. Jeff Rusak continues our coverage by asking local parents what they think of this new policy. There are no speeding cameras in front of PS 17 on the corner of Delavan and Main Street in Buffalo, but the parents here are well aware of the new cameras around the city. Driving how they usually drive and forget about the cameras. As parents, they like what the cameras can do for student safety. They, I think they're pretty good to keep the safety for the kids crossing and, and getting off the bus so they can um, slow down. Some taking their kids home from school, they don't really like the cameras. All these people who are creeping along, and still we've got all the potholes here. I mean, shouldn't we worry with the potholes as much as the speed zone? Cynthia Willoughby actually already got a warning. And saw aggressive driving during this very interview. I was one, honestly. <laughs> it was a warning. Ooh, see, there you go. With upwards of 10,000 tickets a day, according to the mayor, at $50 a piece, you multiply that over 180 school days, the city of Buffalo could theoretically, theoretically, take in $90 million each year. I mean, where's this money going to be going? Mm -hmm. Oh, because they're going to get money for this. Right, right. So where's that going to go? Yeah, yeah. Is it going to go to the potholes? It's tough to imagine the city ticketing 10,000 drivers per day and making that kind of money. But with the city about to end the grace period for school zones, Buffalo drivers are going to need to change their habits. Of those 10,000 violations per day, the city says many of those are repeat offenders. Jeffrey Sachs, 7 Eyewitness News.